All right, this is Duelist bringing you Cash March action. We have a large battle here. Three battle armors and uh, Serpentis and a Hawk Moth, Pabst and Micro in Ares Primes, Yeti in a Chimera A, Red in a Black Lantern A, Shooter in a Warhammer F, and uh, opposing them is Burner's team uh, with a lot of uh, veteran players as well. And uh, we are on TSA Frostbite, and they are using an Ares Prime, Owens Foxtrot, Puma Prime, Solitaire F, Oro Echo, Madcap Prime with uh, three battle armors of their own. Or excuse me, two battle armors for each team. Let's see uh, Burner's team pulling out. They are acting as the defense today for the planet, planet Kukin's Pleasure Pit. Both teams bring in a lot of range. They are uh, operating without any decent anti-air, and they are operating uh, without a ton of lambs here. They have uh, an advantage in terms of direct firepower, and uh, the two teams are pretty equal on range. We started the battle at 85-0-0, and the teams will have 30 minutes of battle time. We can see that they are heading off to a corner of the map, uh, sending out their uh, scout. Uh, out to the ever popular uh, C2 area, I believe, though they are holding up a bit. Um, Marius is the drop commander for the Wolverines Rebirth and Mercenary team. The uh, Smoke Jaguar and Mercenary team is being led uh, by Papscan and Silvercraft with uh, advice from Invictus's keyboard. Uh, the, this team is a bit interesting in that uh, Cesare, an outstanding player, uh, has a limited le uh, English lexicon, so uh, Starchild, uh, excuse me, Star Wraith uh, provides uh, Italian language to him, so uh, they have the language covered, but there's a bit of translation needed there. Um, Zortex and Black Lynx are some somewhat newer players, but they've been with us for a while, and uh, they're uh, friends. Uh, uh, they know each other in real life, so uh, they should be able to work well as the uh, battle armor pilots here. The battle armor pilots will have uh, five lives to work with apiece, so ten total battle armor lives for them. And uh, they will have the ability to refill ammo. Both teams have an APC, so they can refill ammo and uh, use it as a spawn point for the battle armors, which are the uh, little infantry things. They can provide laser. Uh, they can laser enemies uh, for friendly missiles. They can uh, snipe with a particle projection cannon and fire off with uh, lasers. They're pretty. Da they're pretty dangerous at close range, but uh, while their life uh, regenerate, their health regenerates when they don't take damage. Uh, they do not have a lot of total life, so one decent shot from a decent weapon means that they are toast. Uh, we can see both teams trying to set up on a hill for the uh, expected long-range uh, engagement. We're pushing the server to uh, the outside ed edges of its limits. So uh, we're probably going to see uh, a couple of strange issues today, but should hold together enough for the match to handle. And this server generously donated by uh, Wolverine's Rebirth Burner. Their team speak is WR dash clan period no dash IP period org. And uh, Paps taking a shot here uh, down onto Marius's mech, I believe. Uh, quite a bit of range for the two teams. This is. It'd be hard to hard to follow everything. Let's uh, why don't we follow uh, Burner, who's probably in the heart of the action for a sec. You can see the two teams about a kilometer apart. In fact, let's let's do a quick sweep. We have Serpentis here, uh, with about a thousand meter range with his LRMs, and since they don't have anything that can point up high enough to shoot back at him. Uh, he is going to be able to do a lot of damage in a hurry. Now, his narc, he will not be able to get down because in order to do his narc, that would uh, put a homing beacon for all of his friendly team missiles onto them. He would have to be down at about this range, and those tanks and mechs can uh, then attack him uh, from, from far enough up. Uh, follow uh, the attacking side as they attempt to get into some cover to uh, get away from the uh, missile barrage from the VTOL. Both teams uh, know that they were able to take flying assets and uh, both teams have uh, very capable pilots, uh, flying pilots, and uh, sticking down the ground uh, was fine, but their lack of uh, anti-air at this point is going to uh, 
hurt them quite a bit as they uh, attempt to uh, move out to uh, other positioning. I believe that we're going to see a reduction in the number of players for the next battle. Uh, we usually get around 7v7. We're starting very late this evening uh, due to a couple of different factors, uh, but we're certainly going to try and get all five maps in today. Um, I still believe that we'll be fighting with, uh, I think right now we're 8v8. I think we'll still be fighting around 6v6, 7v7, but I do think that uh, we're late enough in the day that we're going to lose a couple of our friends. Now, Star Race Puma, when he's, uh, he's able to get uh, some good range, 900 meters and uh, up on a hill, when you use a mech, if you put it into crouch mode, uh, taking a knee in other words, uh, you're able to get a uh, higher pitch up. And right now they're attempting to spread their forces out so that Serpentis can't sit on any one spot and attack a lot of them. And so it makes it harder for Serpentis to uh, go out and fire uh, a lot of his missiles. Uh, but you can see just how high, how high up he can balloon and uh, he can do a lot of, he can report their position. And uh, you can see that they are now uh, in range. Uh, Victus is a battle armor and Yeti is going to die. There is no other way to say this. His uh, teammates are not going to get up there uh, in time to... Well, he might be able to get away. He's taking some nasty punishment though. Uh, Hawk Moth will continue to do some damage, and uh, we should see the uh, battle armors uh, move up now. The uh, attackers are now being uh, one mech is down. Their uh, one mech took some uh, severe damage. Battle armor uh, Invictus uh, moving up and attacking Bob as we have uh, the LRMs and uh, a couple of direct fire weapons moving up. Shooter uh, trading with uh, Stubalborn. Cesare uh, moving in with his uh, tank. Uh, they were able to take down Shooter. Two teams continue to uh, provide long range fire support. You see the battle armor is going nuts up there. Vic is having a uh, super fun time <laughs> attacking uh, Burner and uh, Burner's uh, teammates right now. Silvercraft, the other battle armor. Uh, Moving in and attacking Marius and Papscan. Excuse me, attacking Marius. Now uh, moving in to attack Stubalborn. It's uh, it's some battle armor action in here. The LRM's too close to be uh, of any kind of weapons uh, range. Now uh, Silvercraft down uh, from Stubalborn. He'll have uh, four four respawns. Uh, the battle armor little uh, infantry. Players uh, usually get uh, either three or five lives, depending on the uh, grade of uh, armor personnel carrier that they bring in. Yeti uh, getting uh, hit hard. Remember, he was uh, hit really hard earlier, so he's going to try and get away, but uh, he's going to take some pretty good damage as we see. Uh, as we see the two teams repositioning now. Uh, Papscan now dead. So uh, the two teams uh, trading blows, and now uh, I believe both teams have lost uh, two. Nope, the uh, clan team has taken uh, some significant pounding uh, away from uh, where we've been looking, and uh, now the uh, Inner Sphere team should uh, have a rather significant uh, advantage here as they try to hunt down some uh, some vehicles. You can see uh, Sortex and Black Lynx uh, moving in to attack SJ Red, he, who had, probably has enough speed to get away, but. Uh, a spread out battle and uh, unfortunately uh, I concentrated on the wrong part and we saw like three quarters of the team dies but couldn't do a sweep. Uh, Serpent is still alive but uh, not a carrying asset nor are the battle armors. Uh, Dr. Micropig never took off so they were actually down one asset to begin with. Uh, Bob's still alive in his Mad Cat. Uh, Mary's still alive in his Owens. Burner's still alive in his Solitaire. Stupid Born in his Ares. Cesare in his uh, oral medium tank, uh, and they are moving in to take on nobody. The uh, uh, to take on SJ Red, 
Uh, he and uh, Micropig are the only ones still alive, but since we are five minutes into the match and Micropig has uh, unfortunately been AFK, uh, it will be an automatic loss for the defenders because the rule states that all of your assets must be outside of the hangar after five minutes into the battle. Uh, but they will uh, continue to fight on. Uh, Red will attempt to get some facing while uh, the battle armors continue to fight. Uh, if the APC has not been destroyed, as it hasn't, they still have their uh, two uh, battle armor helpers. So they still have a decent amount of firepower. Uh, that Hawk Moth, they don't have anything to fire on it. Now the odds are stacked against them because uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six assets, and the only one that's taken any significant damage so far is is uh, Bob and his Mad Cat. But uh, stranger things have happened. So the uh, match will go on at least as long as uh, Red is able to uh, run around uh, until time expires or he dies. Micro Pig will uh, be allowed to enter combat, but uh, the result of this is all but f decided because of the AFK and also because that while uh, while we weren't looking, uh, the uh, Intersphere defenders were able to do a significant amount of damage and kill a number of assets quickly. And uh, if SJ Red uh, is still out there. is uh, the match will play on uh, they have the option of uh, declaring defeat uh, they would simply move up here and, and, and tell the supervisor that uh, they, they don't wish to move on but uh, Red uh, as heavy of a competitor as any else and uh, with the VTOL and the battle armors uh, just who knows uh, how much uh, they might be able to do here as Burner moves in and uh, given that they have six mechs to work with uh, Burner will uh, be uh, very aggressive here uh, as he has to take out Red, and now the match has ended. And so, uh, an interesting battle, uh, very hard, uh, very multiple attack fronts, hard to follow. But uh, it's all over now, and uh, we will see you next time on the Chaos March.